the counter UAS threat is, is very complex, and we have solutions uh, for uh, counter UAS in order to engage with those com complex threats, such as when we look at it, the first thing you have to be able to do is to detect it. So we have a breadth of sensors, a wealth of sensors from uh, our uh, CURVES radar, KU band radar frequency system, and our Sentinel radar, which is really one of the, these both are premier systems for engaging and IDing and detecting the particular threat. Does it all, all types of UASs? Think that, uh, yes, because from a class one, very, very low, slow, small type of UAVs up to class five, Raytheon has solutions that will engage the entire breadth of, a, of the UAVs that are available today. So we can, it's a layered uh, architecture and a layered defense against counter UASs. Uh, for, we would start at a, what we'll say, the, the class one or the low hobby shop type of, of UASs. We would engage that with a capability known as our Howler system. That capability has our Curfs radar, the Coyote Block 2, and also a, uh, a command and control system. That would, that would be able to engage those low, slow, small, and swarming type of, uh, counter U uh, of UAVs, and we would be able to use kinetic as well as non-kinetic effectors. Now, non-kinetic effectors, especially for the low, slow, small, and those hobby shop type of UASs, we'd have our uh, high energy laser weapon system, very capable system that would be able to engage those targets and be able to basically have them drop out of the sky versus exploding over, say, a populated area. We also have our high power microwave system that, too, can engage swarms of these small type of UASs. And then, of course, our kinetic effectors, such as our Coyote Block 2, and also our Stinger missile, and in many cases, also our AMRAM missiles in a capability we call NASAMPS. And where do you see it going in the future? So uh, the threats uh, are evolving, and Raytheon continues to evolve our solutions and our capabilities to stay ahead of those threats. Again, by uh, increasing the performance of our kinetic and non-kinetic effectors, especially our sensors being able to detect even smaller targets as they evolve, or lower, slower, small, or even fast. Because we also look at many of the engagements to include not only the standard uh, threats such as uh, rotary wing, fixed wing aircraft, cruise missiles, but the UAVs now, because of the proliferation, we are now increasing our capability to detect, to ID, to engage, and defeat those threats.